Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill. I'm about to record the 10th episode of the Fantastic Adventures of Pandora the Second, Level 13, Mist Elven, Chaos Knight. And uh, before we start, let me say thank you to you guys who gave the last episode 9 likes during the first 24 hours, which is absolutely fantastic. Great job, dudes. I'll uh, try to do a great job too in this episode. So, let us restore the game. Here we are. We stopped after we crossed the river right in the middle of a fight here at this mixed tension, uh, at this mixed lesser vault. And as you can see, we are still being chased by this cat and uh, this. Chaos, uh, Chaos Lizard, I want to check who exactly is quicker. The cat has a speed of 101, the Chaos Lizard has got a speed of 109 on the average. Okay, he's faster than the cat, that's the problem. I will try to somehow... Okay. Ordinary swordsman. They could disarm me. I hope they will not be able. We're at 55 HP at the moment. Griffin cars are rotten away. It's at least a little unpleasant situation, I think. Okay, rattling fencer is dead. Very good. He's still armed. Grey ooze. Okay, I do not want to melee them. Instead, I change to shooting him. Miss him. Come on, shoot him. Still alive, way. Now he's dead, fine. These worms already start heavily multiplying. What was destroyed? Ah, a whistle on the ground. I do not care that much about a whistle. But we've got a higher metal art shield here. We're gonna take that with us. And the longsword, which we're going to sell. All our rocks. Potion of water, fine. And the green gem. That's what we want to take with us. Okay. Somehow I have to get myself between the lizard and the cat. With a shield, dagger, crude spear. I might take the sling. That's all I need here. Hmm. A frost giant no stone giant. That's a stone giant, okay. I will try. Kill Come on, kill it. Oh, we miss him and miss him. And he's dead. Fine. What did he drop? I want to take a look at it. Rope, rock, rusty. Want of code. Ha! Let me go down here. I definitely need this wand of code now. Before it gets destroyed. Okay, and we have changed the, the order of the monsters. Maybe now we can convince the cat to get closer. No, the cat goes in the wrong direction. Ah, oh, fuck. But maybe it could still work uh, if the cat behaves in the right way. Nothing on the ground is destroyed. I do not really care. Um, but this damn cat is. Uh, I'm absolutely sure it's going to get there right when it's too late. Uh, now it will go to this. Uh, fuck you, cat. Okay, but now is that the chance? No, he does this. Nasty acid attack. I need a chance get through these guys 
Uh, uh, if this room had not been full of worms, but it's not full of them anymore. Good. Now I can go back, and that's what I wanted. Oh, finally! Come on, kill him. You're allowed to bolt spell. I need something. Meanwhile, the iron Russian. Eyes, okay, just do it. You're allowed, I, I, I do not mind. So, come on, fire. This cat can take a lot. Come on, Chaos Lizard, you can do it. Yes, nice, here you can see it. The cave line is annihilated. And now we're going to annihilate the Chaos Lizard. Nice, <laughs> finally it worked. Okay, assassin. Um, we've got a couple of antidotes, so that's a whole threat room full of assassins. What kind of a hardcore level is this? Mixed tension room, threat room full of assassins. We had vortices here. We had everything here. Different giants. We even had a uh, uh, doppelganger lord. Oh my, <laughs> that's great. At least it gives us a lot of experience. Which is maybe not so good because uh, there is a certain maximum level when I want to be back out of this uh, dungeon in order to do another location. And uh <laughs> if we get so much experience so early in the Caverns of Chaos, maybe we will run out of time. Okay, we are poisoned. Uh, that's not so good. Let me eat an antidote. Nice. Another wand of cold. Wow. I'm truly happy about these wands of cold. Nice finding. Still anybody in the vault? No, we did it. Um, what about our supply of food? Almost nothing, so let me pick up the food on the ground here. Iron ration and the two large rations. And this one and the dwarven sausage. Nice. Have we completely scouted this level? Not yet. There are still... Yeah, we did not find the, the downstairs. Of course we did not scout it. Okay. Giant centipede. Come on. And we have not been down here and I hope that we will find the stairs here. Yes, here they are. So, down to the next level. And that might already be Dwarf Town. Yes! Finally, finally, finally. After 10 episodes, we have reached Dwarf Town. Oh my god. At first, we are going to get ourselves a quest here. Then, oh, see how these little dwarfs look. What is this dwarf with this stuff? What kind of dwarf is that? A female dwarf. I'm kind of relief that female dwarfs do not have beards. Uh huh. And here we've got Tronda, the ancient dwarf. That's how he looks. Oh, doesn't he look strong and wise at the same time? He's got two dwarven child children with him. And we're going to talk with him. Hello, uh, can we talk with him? Uh, hmm. It's not so easy because of our corruption, but I think eventually we should be able to talk. Come on. Nein, I do not want to backstab him. I hope that we'll be able to talk. Oh, no, it goes. Now is not the time for talking. He does not talk with us. We do not get the Dwarven quests. Hmm. That's a little sad. But however, we don't need them. We can manage to do it without. 
Let me check our corruptions again. Um, mouth and forehead. No. Aura. That's good. Mithril halberd. Not bad. So let's check the shop. What does he have to offer? Shot bow for accuracy. Not bad either. Water. Cool. Potion of youth. No, <laughs> not interesting for us. Adamantium dagger. Wand of door creation. Ternium quarrels. Small key. Mithril scale of order. We're not. Oh, a mimic, a mimic. Mm -hmm, we should rather kill it. Mimic, I do not want to give you a chance to paralyze me. So. Overburdened, fuck. Worst timing to get overburdened. Let me just drop a couple of stuff. So. Still overburdened. Oh, did he drain our strength somehow? Let me take a look. What what happened there? Oh. Or? No, we did not lose a point of strength. Maybe it's just because we got hungry. So let me drop some of the heavier weapons. That should be okay, sir. So. Oh, I think I know why. Anyway, at first we kill this guy using the rusty wand of cold. Shucks it off. Then I use the other wand of cold. Or at first I will directly, uh, completely use the, the rusty one to kill him, yes. eat one of our large rations and the other one too. That should hopefully allow us to pick up our stuff again and still be able to walk, yes. So where have we been? I think we were somewhere here. Escape of order, melon, scourge of surrendering, close to inside, okay. Here was the mimic space. Ordinary arrows, ordinary quarrels. I think gunners never bad to have. Well, nothing extremely fine, but also nothing extremely bad. Uh, I'm just wondering. No, we have not got the chance to bless our scrolls of identify. Too bad. But we have got a scroll of identify that is not of the same status as the other ones, and I will try to read it. Okay, it's a cursed one. Too bad. I will use them to uh, identify the copper braces, which are braces of defense. But I think that very likely copper is not the best material. That for a uh, mist elf to wear. Anyway, let us sell what we have to sell at first. Um, strange metal girdles. Amulet of greed. And the pendant of mana. I will also sell the braces of defense. And a whole lot of these items. Not the spares, but everything else. That will give us a whole lot of money. Also sell the bomb spare. Too heavy. the cursed one. I will never use this ring of searching. Very likely I will also never use stun resistance. It's great that we've got a ring of ice. I was so happy about that. 
We've also got a couple of very nice ones. But most of them are out of charges because we already used them a couple of times. Hmm. Function of gain attributes is cool, of course. I, I would so much love to find a chaotic altar. Oh, I should have used the one in uh, in the DDL. Um, let's sell the demon daisies and the verb roots. Have we got any other crappy herbs? No, don't think so. So, that's all. We get horrible prizes, of course. Being a chaos knight. At least we've got a uh, uh, 6,000 coins right now. Water. Top of the curacy, Mother Halbert. I think water is the one I want to buy most. I'll do that right now. What was that for a potion? Inside? Mm, not so important. So, paint the potion of water. And that's it. Can we do anything else down here? This altar is neutral, of course. We cannot use that. We do not get the dwarven quests, which is a little sad. Cannot change it. Um. We'll deal with you guys later. I think the first thing we're going to do right now is dive even further. Here we go. What was that? Buzzing sound? Yes, this is a B level. Let me just check how long we played. 16 minutes. We've got still a whole lot of, uh, of time to play. We feel very self-confident. Okay. That's strange. I uh, hope we would ex increase our dexterity and not uh, our toughness and not our willpower. Anyway, I want to increase it further, so this time I will eat four more gears. Two, three, four. That should definitely work to increase our toughness. Huh? What's with you? Run away? Neutral, okay. Someone shoots an arrow at us? Oh yeah, you pretended to be neutral. That's what you did. That's what you get for it. You serve it. So I will avoid the dark room. Or oh, didn't we have... We've got an amulet of light. Which does not even... harm us while we wear it. That's cool. So, let me kick that door. Door is locked too. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Ow, that hurt. Down to 21 HP. I should take rather good care now. Okay, that was definitely my very own fault. Being a little too reckless. Climbing set. Okay, climbing set is cool. Have we got any healing herbs? I do definitely not feel comfortable walking around with so low HP. We do not. <sighs> Let me pray. Yes. We're back at full HP. We use the prayer. But uh, I do not want to uh, lose this character right now to stone a stone block trap. Here are the bees. Let's see how we do against them. Looks quite fine, doesn't it? They also drop real items, which is cool. Torch. Take that with us. Try 
Try to finish these bees quickly. Kick their hive. Come on, bees. What do you have to say when I say 26 points of protection value? Oh, ha ha ha. I guess you say little flying insect with the stupid sting. So, kick it again. Bam! I get the feeling that Pandora is not really nice to animals. Trying to kill them and kick them and <laughs> whatever, that's not cool. <laughs> Usually I would not like that. But she's a chaotic being. Uh, who wants to blame it on her? That's what makes her truly evil. Kicking beehives killing the bees that get out of there. And here is the bee queen. Come on, bee queen. No chance. Three bee, bee vexes. Okay. Okay, that's just a... I really think not being able to do anything useful with these uh, with these uh, towns it is possible that Pandora will at one point turn against them. Hello dwarf. Now she's actually training how to kill dwarfs. Okay, okay, something invisible. Critically hit it, and it's dead. That might have been an ogre magus or an invisible stalker. I think it was an ogre magus. Door is locked. We have to kick it. Okay. We did not have to kick it, of course. What do I do? What do I do with these doors? Playing a little stupid, ain't I? at level 3 at the moment. I think that's quite okay. Your will seems inflexible. Your health increases, finally. That's what I want. Get toughness up. Toughness 14. We can increase it by 3 more points, theoretically. More gear roots. 1, 2, 3, 4. But that should give us toughness 17. We've already got 75 HP. One more level down, no special message. 75 XP is getting closer to 100. I think 100 is such a magic mark, I will be happy to have 100 at one point. Usually you have it a whole lot easier and earlier. Get burned, okay. Door's locked. Maybe we can get around it. I will not kick every locked door now. Wait. Ah, stupid me. Stupid me beforehand. And also, yes, because we have got at least two cedar wands. Here we go. You hear a knocking so Okay. That's not a wand of knocking. The knocking sound. Strange. What else could it do? The knocking sound is no want of knocking. Hmm. Ah, another statue. We didn't see one of these in quite a time. It looks like a combination of dragon, human, and octopus with tentacles hanging from its head. It reminds you of some ancient god sleeping at the bottom of the ocean. An inscription at the bottom reads, Kneel before me when the stars are right and I shall conquer the world. Is that Cthulhu? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Two-handed sword? Cool. 
Large hammer, cool. <laughs> Here are the downstairs, and it was a wise decision not to kick the door because we can get around it. And this hack, these hacks can sometimes curse your equipment. Very unpleasant, guys. And a curse. Oh no. <laughs> Yet another fireball trip. Luckily, we are still at 40 HP, which is maybe enough to. handle the situation without praying. This door is locked. I don't care. Bad luck with doors at the moment. We release a spell. Projectile of flames. Where is it? Guess it's minor punishment. So, I guess now we are done with this level, at least with the parts that we can reach. These fireball traps, ay, ay, ay. Hello Cthulhu. And get down here. This is the animated forest. Oh, and take a look at these animated trees. Wow. They look brilliant. Wow. Totally cool. Okay, but I do not want to cross the animated forest because we do not have enough food with us. I would love to once get my whole equipment identified. I will try to reach that somehow. What scrolls of identify do we have? We have got two scrolls of identify. I will drop one of them, so I do not risk destroying it, while I take the other scroll of identify and dip it into this potion of water in the hopes of it being a potion of holy water. And now it is still there, so I can read it. You suddenly understand the function of all your items. Fine, that's what I wanted. Now let's take a closer look at what we have here. What amulets, for example? Light, silver tongue, okay, our amulets suck. Um, anyway, let's see what we have. This is a speed, Mithril Spear, Adamantium Hammer, Two-Handed Sword of Parrying. Mm -hmm. Lots of slings, nothing special among that. Arrows of Hunting, cool. Jelly Slayers. Nothing special about the ammunition. This is a waterproof blanket. An ordinary blanket, and I guess we lost our third blanket. Yeah, we did. These cursed climbing set, ring of ice, a wand. It is a wand of knocking. Why didn't it open the door? Because it because it's cursed. Ah, I see. Have got monster detection, but without charges. If we can recharge it, which we can, then we could actually consider the Dwarven Horse. Door creation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lots of coal charges. We've got seven. No. Four. At least four. We've got four charges of coal. Six charges of coal. Not bad. Healing. Toughness. Healing. With an Anchor's Potion of Gain Attributes. Gonna use that later. Carrot juice. 
got a couple of carrot juice. I will, I will just drink one potion of carrot juice in order to increase our per perception, the blessed one. Yes, nice. Potion of toughness is cool, of course, but we will at first train it as far as we can with Morgias. Ultra Hine, cure poison, boost speed, invisibility, can help us. And light, power, danger, charging, charging, peace. Um, the scroll of danger is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep that in mind. I will keep that in mind for future plans. Okay, these are our our herbs. Darkness. We can cast darkness once. Okay, there's not so great things among it, honestly. But however. Uh, Door is locked. It shall stay locked. I really consider using the one of knocking up there in order to open this closed door and maybe in the next episode try to find our way through the dwarven halls. That would be cool. We've got this wand of monster detection which we have well recharge of course. We can make ourselves invisible, we can boost our speed if we need but first I definitely need to eat some spent sweet in order to get back to full health. Now kick the door. Okay. Lucky. Here we go. And this is the downstairs to the Dwarven Halls. So what do I want to do in this episode? Read the scroll of charting on the wand of monster detection. G. Now we've got one charge of monster detection. I need one more, so I also read the other one, uh, skill of charging. Also on monster detection. Giving us three charges. That's enough for the, for the challenge that lies ahead of us. And here I will end this episode. Dudes, in the next episode, Pandora the Second is going to enter the Dwarven Halls, one of the most deadly places of the mid-game. So I hope that you will... Uh, uh, tune in for the episode again, that you will continue your amazing support and that you will watch this exciting episode of tomorrow's. Bye everybody.